what's up hello welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not here I just dropped my phone down the side of the seat this is Matt my brother hi and uh we're currently in traffic on our way to the airport bag drop closes in half an hour we're like 15 minutes away from the airport maybe I hope this traffic doesn't go for too much longer okay found my phone down the side of the seat traffic is now flowing awesome just because people didn't know how to merge. I go to the airport because I've said this in previous vlogs, but if this is your first time seeing my face and you don't know what's going on, I'm from Auckland and my parents are currently in the South Island on a trip and they've been away for like, I don't know, like two weeks? Yep, already. two weeks probably. So they're in their camper van and they're basically just touring around the whole of the South Island over the course of six weeks. So I'm heading down to catch up with them for 10, 12 days, I think. And we're going between Christchurch and Queenstown. So Matt isn't coming, he's going back to uni. He's also an RA at Massey, at Albany. Massey in Albany. So uh, if you've been there this year, well, he's not going to be there next year because he's just finished. But if you were there the last three years, you might recognize him. When I fly home, he's flying down like that same day. Like we're swapping over and he's catching up with mum and dad for like a week. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. and they're walking the Kepler track. So I'm not doing that. Originally his girlfriend was supposed to be doing it with him, but she's in Australia, so can't come. We must be sage. Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah. Actually, I need to get a face mask out because now it is compulsory to wear face masks on all flights. All right, let's do a cool face mask transition, shall we? It's so hot under here. Welcome to Christchurch. This is where I'm living for the next no, no, 13 go, days. Go, go. We're actually um, parked outside our friend's house in Lincoln. This is where we're staying tonight. This is where my dad stayed last night as well. The flight was good. I just edited Bob like half of this week's podcast. Well, not this week's, this month's podcast, the rate we're going. Um, you can check that out at Octa underscore podcast if you want. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the second day on the trip. It is 10 past 10. Oh, and we're going around a corner. We stayed in Lincoln last night at a family friend of ours who my parents went to. You both went to uni with Dave, eh? Yeah. And now we're heading to his pharmacy to buy some aioli because last night he cooked us the meanest dinner. It was the best steak I've ever had in my life with this salad with this dressing because my dad can't have onion and garlic so this dressing didn't have onion and garlic in it. It tasted amazing. And then he cooked some wedges in the deep fryer and we had it with this aioli and this aioli was you guys know that I love aioli, and this was the best aioli I've ever had, so... Oh, 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 we're stopping. So that's the plan, and I also, because it's Black Friday yesterday, the sales are still going. So last night, I bought a mirror and a vacuum cleaner for the house. Also, I probably shouldn't have dismissed it so easily, but a um, little uh, sneak peek at what's to come on probably the 11th of December. EGS apparel, plug, plug, plug. It's also quite cold today. I woke up this morning, it was 8 degrees, and my parents told me that it was warm down here, so I only bought one pair of jeans because I was pushing it for space because I had to bring like a soft bag rather than a suitcase. So, um, we got exercise tights on today because I bought those because we're going on walks and stuff. We're going in to get this aioli, so. Excuse me, my mouth is watering thinking about it. We've got the aioli and it's by the company Pepper and Me. It's made in Tauranga, um, which is back up our way anyway. But not sponsored, but so good. Got it from the mother paid, but got a couple of them. So now we're heading into actual Christchurch, which is like 20 ish minutes away. Hello, you can see me in the mirror. It's quarter past 12, so we went to Briscoe's and I found like some pots and pans and a knife block and a rug and stuff to buy, but some of it's sold out online, so probably just not gonna get that because I don't really wanna have to put it in the camper van and have mum and dad take it all the way home. So we're just gonna not worry about that, some of that stuff, but the rest of it I'll click and collect and pick it up in Hamilton. I'm just gonna apologize in advance. I know my vlogging game is gonna be a little bit weaker than normal, just because, especially those next few days when we're like visiting people that we know, it's just a little bit awkward to like, I just don't wanna make people feel uncomfortable. But we're about to head out for lunch and then go to this art gallery, but we're in, like in Christchurch now, staying at another one of mum's pharmacy friends place who they also went to uni with. All right, changing outfit, and yes, I'm wearing more EGS apparel because you see, the problem I have is, this is the bag that I bought with me, but we don't have a washing machine for the first 10 days, so I have to have enough clothes to last me those 10 days, but I also need to take photos and all of the new pieces, which means that basically, I'm gonna be wearing this stuff because I had room for like not much else for the next 
10 days. Bear with me on that. Also, mum and dad said it was going to be warm and it is not warm. A little bit concerned about that because I don't really have any clothes for cold weather. But that's okay. I'm also going to wear the crew neck over the top because I have nothing else to wear. But it's okay. I'm not complaining because I'm not going to lie. This is probably my favourite item. I'll slowly trickle feed it into the vlog for you guys so you can see it all. guys it is now bedtime i don't even know what the time is what this lighting makes it look really orange i promise i'm not wearing fake tan because i'm actually sunburned and it's peeling and i didn't want the tan to peel off it's at 10 o'clock and my parents are out in the lounge watching the rugby new zealand versus argentina i'm inside tonight sleeping in an actual bed because i was so uncomfortable last night i couldn't i couldn't even tell you how many times i woke up in the night it was so bad we don't really have a plan for tomorrow so stay tuned to find out apart from that see you in the morning Good morning guys, back in the camper because it seems to be the only place that I can get peace and quiet. We are like parked up and we've just filled up the water and mum and dad are actually inside watching Survivor. If you know what that is, it's a TV show. About to go, as soon as the show finishes we're out of here. We've got some friends, like family friends to visit. I don't know why we have so many friends in Christchurch when we've never lived here before in our lives, but that's fine. So we've got to go visit some friends. I think we're going to the Riverside Market for lunch and one of you guys actually recommended that. So I don't remember your name, I'm sorry. But you'll know who you are so thank you and then after that we have owen's football game at four o'clock i'm also meeting sophie at 3 30. sophie's like a little internet pal that i've made through youtube i don't even know how that happened but yeah we're like friends now so i'm meeting her today which is pretty exciting and her friend bella's coming too and i know bella watches my videos so hi bella hi sophie outfit of the day I went for a walk along brighton beach this morning i got changed out of my walking stuff and put on this top from was it from princess polly i don't think they had them anymore and these jeans that i got from harry and her and from matar which are a brand see you guys when we're at the markets yay i'm keen for some food we are at super cheap auto because one of the headlights on the campus stopped working and we might be driving in the dark tonight so we want to make sure that we get another one of these also went out for lunch at the riverside market which i said one of you guys recommended it's really good i got dumplings and rice paper rolls why do they have so many to choose from But you know what the drill is. This is Sophie. What are we saying? This is Bella. Hi. Alright, start with Sophie. Three fun facts about yourself. Oh. <laughs> Bring it. Oh. Do you need some help? Yeah. Um, she does rowing. Oh yeah. And she's from Christchurch. Yeah. Well, actually you're from Auckland originally. I'm from, no, I'm from Christchurch. Oh, she's from Christchurch. And this is Bella. Um, I row as well. I've watched Emma's for two years. <laughs> and you have the same necklace as me. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. And you guys are probably wondering why I ended up in my caravan with she's she's drivers. But I've been friends with Sophie through social media for like a few months. Yeah. And then I was in Christchurch. I'm like, hey, wanna meet up? So here we are. So we went and watched Owen's football game, they won 3 2. And now we're dropping them home and their bikes. <laughs> and their bikes are on the back of our caravan van. I like completely throw you guys with I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, that's all. See you guys later. Guys, I'm back and it's now 9 p.m. We're making corn fritters for dinner. Our goal tonight was to get to this place like 20 minutes south of Ashburton, but we got caught up at a friend's place, so we've ended up in some random paddock at an N N Z N C A park. What is this place called? Weedens. <laughs> Updating on the dinner situation. Corn fritters, corn fritters happening and because i understand a lot of you are probably fairly confused about that last clip they came and watched owen's game i biked over and since like it was kind of late it was like six o'clock i was like hey just check your bikes in the back and come with us and we'll take you home that's what happened um owen one three two p is now obviously on the way back to hamilton but they had to fly to auckland and then catch a bus to hamilton so they'll be getting home very late tonight good morning Another day. I didn't vlog this morning because we literally just woke up, had breakfast, and we're on the road. But we are currently at the Ashburton countdown, about to get some food for lunch. We just filled up the camper van at the diesel truck stop thing. So we've already probably done like what an hour of driving this morning. Where we stayed last night was literally just a paddock with camper vans everywhere. And got woken up at some hour of this morning because some people decided to leave. Like when we got there last night, like 8.30, people already had like their curtains pulled, no lights on, like probably asleep. And we didn't go to bed till like 
11 o'clock and then people were getting up this morning before we woke up at 7 o'clock and they were already leaving. The weather sucks. But we need to go get some food. folks so yesterday last thing i vlogged was us going to the supermarket so that happened and then we drove like another hour and a half to Tikapo. and here we are you guys may or may not remember in my last like camper van vlog we stayed on our friend's lawn in Whangamata well those friends we stayed on their lawn because they were in the south island and they're currently at this campsite with us right now so we went like hung out with them a little bit last night we went to the hot pools here like not on the campsite like across the other side of town and it was really nice, we were there for like a couple of hours and you're probably like, okay Emma, why don't you vlog this? Well, <laughs> when we went to the hot pools, I obviously didn't want to take my camera in there because it's like water and cameras and water just don't go together very well. While we were in there, I chucked my camera in the safe, just like, you know, to be safe. And then I forgot that it was in there and I forgot that I was vlogging and I for just, yeah. So I just remembered, just went to go pick up my camera, I'm like, where the heck is it? And I was like, oh, it's in the safe. So I just got it out. So here I am, filling you in. Today, what's the plan? I personally don't actually really know. I think we're going to Mount Cook from here, and we're going to do the Hooker Valley, is that what it's called? Hooker Valley Walk? I've seen people do it before, it looks incredible. And it's currently like really cold. It's like three degrees. Last night I figured out, I this is like my bed here, so like I make it up with like a table and some squabs. But I put the like fitted sheet over the squabs and then I hop inside a little sleeping bag and then I put a blanket over the top. That was so comfortable last night, so comfortable. Rachel, I hope you're listening to this. I slept in till quarter to nine. You guys know I'm a morning person and I struggle to sleep in. And this morning I woke up as expecting my, my phone to say like, I don't know, 7 o'clock. Nope, it said at quarter to 9 and I was pretty proud of myself. So there you go. I actually needed that sleep because my parents go to, like, my parents go to bed late and they wake up early that they don't need a hope of sleep. Whereas I do, so I normally go to bed like, you know, 10 o'clock, wake up like, you know, 7 o'clock. But it's a beautiful day today. Oh, also, our friends who are here, they have a dog. Her name's Coco. She's adorable. I don't know what breed she is, but she's so cute. And I took her for a walk yesterday. That is my first time ever taking a dog for a walk. I, growing up, didn't really have pets. I had 14 pet ducks and the, the occasional chicken, the occasional sheep. Like, I had, like, seven pet sheep throughout my childhood, which I used to actually take for walks down the street to the park with a lead on them. So, yeah, I was pretty happy about that, pretty excited. So, yeah, but that's all. Um, I'll hopefully remember to vlog today so you guys can see a little bit more of what we're up to. But yeah, first stop, Mount Cook. Actually, no, first stop is to empty our toilet because she's getting a little bit full. Dump station time and filling up water time, but look at this, guys. This is no filter, look at this water. Do you guys see how blue that is? And look at the snow on the mountains. It is 1.30 and we have stopped for lunch. It's called Peter's Reserve, which is quite cute. This is Peter the Rabbit, but this is like Pukaki. This is Peter Rabbit. Yeah, if you haven't heard the story, Owen and I bought Peter Rabbit for mum and dad to take on all their travels with them and they take a photo of him every stop. You know what I mean? Here's Peter with his sign, but look at this road. This is the road that everyone takes. The iconic photos. Too scared as heck. I'm literally in this like freaking state highway trying to take a photo of a toy rabbit. I can't get him to sit up. I'm just gonna have to hold him. We had a water leak last night, so this is us drying out our squabs and uh, drying our togs from the pools yesterday. And lunch is served with the chicken, lettuce and cheese on a bun. Hello guys, we are currently on a little walk and uh, it's Mount Cook. We've got some bits of a glacier here, that's a glacier over there. This is called the Hooker, what's that Hooker Valley Walk? Hooker, this is this is Hooker Lake behind me. So this is all glacial water. We just felt it was like three degrees. Like no joke, that's what it says on the sign. Yeah, it took us like an hour and a half to walk in. So now we've got to walk back to the campground. We're staying here at the is it the Mount Cook Dock Campground? I don't know. But yeah, that's where we're staying tonight. We were walking over here. We heard an avalanche from up here somewhere. But by the time you get a chance to look, because obviously sound travels pretty like slow. By the time we got a chance to look, it was like gone. 
and we are back from our walk. You can probably hear seven sharp in the background, but oh yeah, there's the iconic music. But this is my poor excuse for a cheese board because I was craving this cheese the whole way up, and I'm going to show you guys what it is because we found out about it the other day. Probably old news to everyone else, but this Havarti cheese, so good. And also I found out about these the other day. So good. We went to our friend's place and they put out a cheese board and it was the best cheese board I've ever seen in my life. So this is me trying to make a baby version of it. It looks very underwhelming on this 3 for 10 Kmart chopping board. Also outside here. <laughs> Dad's here with his ducks. Hello guys, another day. I feel like I've said that every single day but another day it's currently quarter to 11 so this morning we kind of got woken up very abruptly by the wind it was terrible as you know i need to update you guys on yesterday before i get started on today because today's a whole nother story but yesterday we went for that walk came back and there were some i don't want to call them subscribers or followers because they're like my friends now but some people who knew me through youtube were camping at the same campground as us they messaged me when we were at Tekapo and said, hey, we're staying at Mount Cook. If you're heading this way, we'd love to meet you. I'm like, oh, sweet, we're staying there tomorrow night. So when we got back from our walk, I went over and chatted to them. They were in a, in a tent. I chatted to them for like an hour-ish, hour and a half. So that was really nice to talk to them and put some faces to names. We had pizza, went to bed, all good, all, all well. And then this morning, we got woken up by the wind, which was really, really quite bad. So we were deciding whether to travel and risk tipping the whole van over or staying put and that's the water pump. These people were leaving and they're like big van and we're like hey what's your guys plan? They're like we've been here before in the wind and we don't want to be here again. So they left so we're like sweet let's go. So we packed up our stuff and just left. So currently sitting here there's you can see Mount Cook. We're supposed to be staying on the lake like not here but like around the corner on the lakefront tonight but that's going to be right where the wind's coming in that's not going to be very pleasant so we still don't really know where we're staying tonight but we're at the visitors centre and they have salmon so we bought some salmon I'm about to eat it and we don't really have a plan for today because we, what we were going to do we can't really do because we're going to go visit a glacier and all this sort of stuff but the wind's kind of changed our plans so we're just taking it slow and just like every other day probably not much is going to happen but that's okay. I'm going to eat some salmon and keep you guys up Okay, I shut the camera off and then ate that piece of salmon and I just wanted to come back and say that this is the nicest salmon I've ever had in my life. We've made it to Twizzle. That one's for you, Joanne and Laura. It's called Twizzle, guys. We were at the, this lookout yesterday and people were like, oh, we can get ice cream in Twizzle. And I was like, that just, that's not what it's called. But we're at a salmon farm. Apparently, Laura was saying you feed the salmon and they got it ballistic. So I kind of want to see this. done at the salmon farm we just went and took a photo of Peter and the little thing to insert those photos but those spring rolls that I had were the best spring rolls I've probably ever had in my life so there you go we're actually in the Twizel township now we just went to the four square supermarket here to grab some little supplies and ice creams ice creams and a donut and this is a test to see if Owen watches my videos I have bought him some vintage cheddar an onion kettle crisps and they're like his, him and his dad it's their favorite crisps and they go on about them but they've stopped making them so they're quite hard to come across but obviously here they would have had excess stock since like you know it's like a very common flavor they probably don't have the thoroughfare here that they have in Auckland so I bought them some I'm trying to see on okay we're going to see where they do the rowing And we have arrived where we are staying for tonight, so this is the view out the back window. It was really windy here before, but it seems to have calmed down, which is really nice. I just made a cheese board, which looks kind of average, but it'll do the job. Got myself a kombucha. We're good to go. Good morning, guys. Another day. And it's a beautiful day. As you can tell, it's very quiet around here. It's actually like 7... Oh, it's nearly 8 o'clock. But my parents... Okay, this is a thing. They woke up at like quarter to 7. And since this is a very confined space, you hear everything. So they're talking. Probably forgot that I was even asleep. And they've gone for a walk. And I intentionally did that pretend sleep thing. Because I didn't want to go and I was really tired. So I woke up at 20 past 7. And laid in bed... 
go to Instagram, you know, all, all fun stuff. That's the alarm that was supposed to wake us up, but no, we decided to wake up before that. Today we are heading towards Omaru. Yeah, I don't really know what we're doing over there. We don't really know what the plan is. It's kind of windy again today. We were heading sort of that way yesterday and we had to turn around because it was so windy. Like the van was getting pushed like all over the road. It was really bad. So we, this is where we came to this place. I want to have a shower, but I needed to wait for the hot water to warm up. So there's like a switch you have to flick to warm up the hot water. So we're just waiting for that. <laughs> Back again, we are at these clay cliffs. Laura and Joanne, if you're wondering, we came. Mum and Dad said they came here years ago, but we don't really know. There's like a path, so we're just gonna follow it and hope for the best. You could honestly think, like, this sort of, like, reminds you of something that's like so American. Like, that road over there, like, the, there's a main road, like, over there, you can't, oh, over there, you can't really see it, but it reminds you of, like, in cars when they have, like, that town. And the road bypasses it and then no one goes to the town. I feel like this is the town that everyone bypasses. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but anyway, let's go look at some clay cliffs. Alright, dinner time. Mum's got some rice there. She made us some buttered chicken in the camper van, which is pretty good effort, Mum. We haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> That'd be rude. Yeah, you're rude as. Dinner is served. Lower the, lower the blind. Okay. Got the butter chicken with the homemade, what are these? Bread. Flatbread. Flatbread. And I put a kombucha as well. Ooh, you got some boogie in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? It's a bit spicy. Good morning, guys. What day is it? Friday. Yeah, yeah. Friday. It is 9.22 a.m. And last night we stayed at the AMP showgrounds here in Oamaru. And today we're going to hopefully look at, what's it called? The Riverstone Castle. Yeah. It's basically this big castle that's lady built with like a moat and everything. It's pretty impressive. So we're going to go try and have a look at that. It's actually booked out, but the lady said, come along and you may be able to squeeze on the end of the because they do like scheduled tour times so we're going to try to get on the 10 30 one of those i'm actually going to close off this vlog here so this will be part one of the trip and then the remainder of the trip will be part two and that will include this castle and the moriki boulders and wanaka and queenstown and all of that fun stuff so Stay tuned for that, but this is the end of this part, so thank you for watching, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and we'll all see you in the next video. Uh. Are you taking a photo of the tree? Well, you can just pick that one up, we'll chuck it in the back and we'll <laughs> take it home. The cute dog out there too. <laughs> that was my dad's birthday. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.